Hello and welcome to my latest English vocabulary lesson on different types of houses. In this video, you will learn a detailed glossary of English words which will help you describe in general lots of different types of houses. Make sure to check out the word list in the description below. It is full of all the words we cover in this lesson. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all my latest videos. Our first type of house is an apartment. Repeat after me. Apartment. And where can we find apartments? We call the building apartments are located in an apartment building or an apartment block. Apartment is more commonly used in American English, but in British English, an apartment can be called a flat. Repeat after me. Flat. Okay, let's move on to our next term, which is duplex. And duplex describes any house which has two levels or two stories. A lot of houses can be described as being duplex. And when an apartment has two levels or two stories, we simply call it a duplex apartment. Let's move on to our next house type, which is a little bit smaller. Cottage. Repeat after me. Cottage. Generally, cottages are small and located in the countryside. In my homeland of Ireland, it is common to see cottages with a thatched roof. You can see that indicated on the screen. A thatched roof is made of dried grass. And when a cottage has this type of roof, we simply call it a thatched cottage. Repeat after me. Thatched cottage. Our next house type is a bungalow. Repeat after me. Bungalow. When it comes to bungalows, they generally have one level. This word is commonly used throughout the English speaking world, but in American English, it is often referred to as a holiday destination home. Bungalow. Our next home type is also common in America. It is called a cabin. Repeat after me. Cabin. Cabins are generally small houses. And again, in America, they are often used for vacation purposes. We can describe them as wooden, as they are made out of logs, which is cut timber. And because of this, they are sometimes referred to as a log cabin. Log cabin. A similar type of house is called a chalet. The T here at the end of the word is silent. Chalet. And because they are generally found in Switzerland, they can be referred to as a Swiss chalet. They are typically wooden and found in the Swiss Alps. Let's move on to our next house type. Now, you may know this building as a barn and it is usually located in a farm. These can be made into a house and are called a barn conversion. Repeat after me. Barn conversion. And we use this word conversion because the barn has been converted or changed into a house. The main house or home on a farm is simply called the farmhouse. Repeat after me, farmhouse. If this is your first time visiting Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Please do me a favor and share this video with a couple of your friends and help me grow my channel. Let's move on and take our lesson on the road. 
Generally, houses that can be moved or are on wheels are called mobile homes. Repeat after me. Mobile home. In American English, these can be referred to as an ORV. This acronym stands for Recreational Vehicle. Recreational Vehicle. And in British English, this can be referred to as a caravan. Repeat after me. Caravan. A caravan or RV, which is a bit bigger and more stationary, in American English is called a trailer. Trailer. And the area which these are stored in and lived in is called a trailer park. Trailer park. Our next type of house is a detached house. Repeat after me. Detached house. This type of house generally has two levels and stands alone. Up next, we have semi-detached. Semi-detached. And this type of house shares one wall with another house. Semi-detached. Okay, let's move on to our next house type, which is called a terraced house. Terraced house. A terraced house is part of a continuous row of houses. These are common in the UK and Ireland. Moving on, our next house is called a villa. Villa. A villa has a particular style, which is generally from the Mediterranean. And they are typically found in warm climates. Our next house type is a manor. Repeat after me. Manor. Manors are generally large houses with lots of land. These type of houses are a remnant of the feudal system. This is an old system of society where lords or kings or princes owned big houses and rented lands to tenants. Similar to a manor is a mansion. Repeat after me. Mansion. And again, these are large houses and usually very expensive. They are typically associated with luxury and wealth. Some people in the world still live in castles. Repeat after me. Castle. Castles are defensive homes to help against attack and they are very old and generally not built anymore. Our next house type is a palace. Repeat after me. Palace. Palaces are typically large opulent buildings. And typically, they are the resident of a leader of a country, like a king, a president, or a prime minister. There are very many different types of houses that I wasn't able to include in this video. Do you know any that I haven't mentioned? Let me know in the comments below, and maybe if I have enough words, I'll make another vocabulary video on this subject. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out the rest of my videos on YouTube. Whatever you're interested in, I'm sure there's a video there for you full of interesting vocabulary and new words for you to learn. And coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you. Don't forget to check out the word list in the description below, along with links to my social media. And there's a link on screen to subscribe. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.